What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, I have a question to the people who are on Section 8. You get food stamps. You pretty much get free public housing. My question to y'all, why do y'all go in grocery stores and still when y'all have food stamps? You get about $2,000 worth of food stamps a month, and you still are willing to go inside the grocery store and still. Also, if you know that you need your food stamps, why do you always sell them for at least half and put yourself in this predicament? You can get about $2,000 worth of food stamps a month. And you will sell a thousand dollars worth of those food stamps for five hundred bucks, and then run to Walmart and try to steal groceries. I'm not gonna talk no more. Let's get right into this damn video and come right back to my damn commentary. Let's do it. Awesome. Come here. Come here. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Behind your back. Put your palms together like you're praying. Grab my purse off the. Uh, Again, you listen to me. You listen to me, not her. Yeah, we're gonna go in the office and I'll let you know. Okay. I'll walk all the way to the end. Do not walk too fast. I'm pregnant. So she said, "Can we not walk too fast? I'm pregnant." To the pregnant ladies out there, if you're doing something like this, my question to you is. Why are you putting yourself in a predicament like this? Why are you stealing when you're pregnant, when you know the consequences and what can happen? You being pregnant doesn't give you a right to go somewhere and steal. And then as soon as you get caught or arrested or feel like the cops are too rough with you, that's when you want to use the pregnancy excuse. It never fails. Never. Follow him behind him. Alright, nope, stand up, stand up, face the wall. You got any weapons on you, anything? Alright, wait. Cause you're pregnant, I'm gonna swap these cuffs to the front. Palms together like you're praying out front. Alright, have a seat. So, Here's my question to you guys. You guys almost hit me earlier, right? You saw me. Right. But you saw me, right? So you knew I was in the store, right? Okay. You also realize that there's thousands of cameras throughout this entire store, correct? Okay. So, let's play devil's advocate. How smart is it to bag items without purchasing them and then putting them in a cart concealing them without paying for them? You talking about the house shoes? In general, any merchandise. That's it. Right, because we stopped you guys. But, but I'm I'm her. asking you a question. Is it smart to do that? No. You but saw me. I told her. You also to saw put me. Put them in the front because I didn't purchase them, but I have money to buy everything in that cart. Okay. Well, here's the other problem. We also have you guys from another incident with your photos where you guys were not stopped because you guys pushed out before they were able to make contact with you. So at this point today, you both are going to be trespassed from Walmart nationwide. You're not permitted in any Walmart. Okay, I want to stop the video right here real quick. And then when this Walmart leaves their area, they will have these people on city councils talking about why are Walmarts, Walgreens, Dollar Generals leaving poor areas. This is the reason why right here. Y'all see it for yourself. But of course... They're not never being held accountable. The people that go into their stores, in their local stores, their grocery chains, and still all the time. But the local city council people, they want to press the billionaires and millionaires that own these stores. Like they're not putting stores in the area so they can make a profit. They want to make money, not lose money. I did a video a while ago, about a couple of weeks ago, about how a congresswoman was mad because a Walgreens left the area and she wants to make it seem like 
it's a racist issue because the people are actually going in there, stealing, robbing. The store isn't making a profit. The store decides to get up and leave. And she feels that the Walgreens owes the black community a reason for them leaving. If somebody's stealing out of your business, do you owe them a reason for leaving their community? Just because it's a bunch of black people in that community, do you owe them a reason why you got up and left? The proof is already in the pudding. They kept stealing from my store. I don't owe you no explanation. Just like if that Walmart where they're at, if they get up and leave, it's because of people like them. They come in there and they steal day in and day out. And they think that they're never going to get caught until the and until they get caught. Walmarts at all whatsoever. If they open one on Mars, you can't go to Mars and go to that Walmart either. We have facial recognition. I work this one and I also work 62. If you show up at either one of my Walmarts, I will immediately arrest you and charge you for both theft. And I will also charge you for trespassing. Do you both have IDs? What's your first name, ma'am? Alright. What's your first name? It was almost twelve hundred dollars last time, wasn't it? Easily a felony that I can still file warrants on. The last amount that you guys pushed out, almost twelve hundred dollars. Just because we don't get you the first time doesn't mean you won't get you the second time, or the third time, or the fourth time. But the time that you guys spend doing all this nonsense, you guys could be putting an application in somewhere for jobs and stuff. And that's the sad part. The community, they don't want to go put in applications. They would rather sit on government assistance until their life ends. And they wouldn't mind letting their kids see them live on government assistance for the rest of their lives. And then their kids grow up and some of them follow the same footsteps that their parents were in because they never seen their parents doing nothing. They seen how easy their parents had it on the system. They would rather get food stamps, sell their food stamps, then go into a Walmart and steal food and steal items when the government is already assisting them. And that's why I don't believe anybody deserves reparations because you wouldn't even know what to do with the money if you did have it. And you wouldn't do anything productive with it if you did have it. Go out and work. Go out and find a trade. Get a trade. Stop looking for handouts all the time. Then you won't have to be in Walmart stealing. You can still work. We have plenty of people that work here at Walmart that are on SSI. Uh, looks like the second one. Showing an active 81 out of 10 for F1 uh, domestic assault and obstructing. Uh, I'll see if there's a hard copy of the warrant to see if it's good. Sounds like you might be one of the county anyway. It's a big warrant. Nope. No. Um, nope. Phone, I'm going, I might be going to the county. Come on. Uh, I don't get that conversation. Go. Sorry. Copy, thank you. Okay. Is, does she have her paperwork? Is she ready? Yeah. Alright, let's get her out of here. Have her sign. Stand up. Her up. Hand on top of your head. So, for your trespass, you can't come to any Walmart in the country, Sands Club, Murphy Oil and Gas, parking lot, anywhere. Alright? No subways. And no stores associated. Inside, yeah. Nothing at all. Alright. You are free to take both bags and leave. You just have to leave the property. Is that who the DV is against? Yes, Okay. Open it so I can get the number. Yes, Okay. You're free to go. When you get out of the county, you're not going to have any way to contact anybody. I don't use the phone. Okay.
No, 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 no. Stop! You're gonna get pepper spray. Are you fucking joking? No. Hey, go get my radio. Please don't take me. Get that f on the ground. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Record her. Record her. She hit me. And this is the part most black people see when they're walking out of a Walmart. And they would automatically assume that this officer is assaulting a black pregnant female for no reason. This is the part that most black people will end up seeing on the news. Because of propaganda. They would have this plastered all over the news. White female officer assaults black pregnant female. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I always say to my people out there, you always see parts like this, but you never see how it started. You always see the ending, but you never see how it actually started. And here we are now. She's not that worried about her child's life if she's sitting up there running from law enforcement. She's not that worried about her child's life. Record her! Because I'm pregnant and I can't breathe! Get your hands behind your back! And this whole I can't breathe thing, black people, I'm, I'm sorry, but y'all made it into a joke. Y'all literally turned the I can't breathe slogan and made it into a joke. And that's sad. You made it directly into a joke. But y'all want to stand up for the people and fight and burn down your cities for the people that really couldn't breathe and really were choked out. And y'all turn around and use that slogan as a joke and want to say it anytime a cop has you in handcuffs, has you pinned up against the car, you want to yell out, you can't breathe. Y'all make a mockery out of everything sometimes. And it's embarrassing if you really want to ask me. Get your hands behind your f***ing back! I will once you quit doing that to my head. I can't breathe. Please. Get your hands behind your back! You're going to fight me. Get your f***ing hands behind your back! I'm not trying to fight you. I'm you already... Fight. I got you. I got you. She already slapped me. Look at this. Oh. I got you. Two, six, two. I got one. Fight me. But she ran from the police. I can't breathe and I'm pregnant. Okay. I got you. I got you. Here. I can't breathe and I'm pregnant. Here. I and I'm pregnant. All right. Well, get your arm out from underneath you. Let me get you. to the. Let me turn no. up to my thigh. No. Get your arm out from underneath you. Get your arm out. Let me turn to my side. Get your arm out and we'll turn you to your fucking side. Why can't you listen? You have got issues. I can't you breathe. Want? Yes, I can, because she asked me for assistance. Yes, I can. I can. I got people surrounding me, please. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. An officer asked for assistance. I can't breathe, and I'm pregnant! No, she is a car. You know the f***ing We have all the units in route. Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Give me your arm! Units responding to Walmart and I. Get the arm. Like, listen, is it that hard? No, I just. I can't breathe on my stomach. Get off of me. Shut the f up. If you can talk, you can breathe. I want to make that clear. If you can talk, you can breathe. She's okay. Don't go out, start burning down cities over her, okay? Get off of me. <laughs> Please, please get off of me. Take this. Get off of me. You got my arm. 262. One in custody. You saw the other medics down. The other units down. Respond, medics. <laughs> Put your knees, knees to your stomach. Shut the f up and get up! No, my 
I'm done. Look at me right now before oh, you get another charge. Sit up. Oh, God. Oh, Sit my up. God. Please just give me back to my kid. I promise I won't come here no more. Get the f Are you okay? She's pregnant. Are you okay? She yeah. slipped, uh, come here, she slipped her cuff or didn't get one cuff on. Alright. Again? I don't want to go to my kids. Turn around. You should have thought about your kids before you went to Walmart stealing. And I'm pretty sure you knew you had an active warrant. That's the funny thing. People will put themselves into these predicaments and some of them know they have active warrants out of somewhere. What do you think is going to happen? If you, I hope you didn't leave your kids alone to go out and steal and thought you was going to come right back because you never know what can happen. You never know. That's the way life works sometimes. That's the way the powers of the universe work sometimes. When you think you're not going to get caught, that's when you get caught. Anybody out there listening, am I lying? When you think you're not going to get caught, that's when you get caught for some reason. Turn. Are you all right? Turn that way. Turn. Turn that yeah, way. we got to the ground and she just immediately. Stop. I just want to go to my kids. Give me your hand. I didn't go to my kids. I just want to go to my kids. That's not happening. And I want to say one more thing. Unless you're a D1 athlete that runs track, stop running from cops. Um, unless you're in shape, stop running from cops. They're going to catch you. Half y'all be out of shape trying to run from cops. Happening. You know how they me. What the you offer me. Just get off of me. And here we go. Time to play the victim. You got caught stealing. You did it while you were pregnant. And then you want to flee from law enforcement. You're not the victim here. You put yourself in that predicament. Nobody forced you to do any of that stuff. You did it on your own. Take accountability for your actions. For the love of God, take accountability for your freaking actions. Thank you, all for me. Ma'am, you're going to jail. Stop. Stop. You're going to jail. Get off me, bitch. It's about when it comes, I want to be able to do shit. Watch your foot. What you doing? Just take her to the hospital. Okay. Getting her into that yeah. is going to be a fight. Yeah. So just take her to all men. I'll let them know. I'll let them know. We'll fall you out there, kid. All right. What happened? I fucking had her cuffed, and she told me she was pregnant, so I fucking cuffed her in the front. Did you cuff her out here? No, in there. She oh, she's in the office. Oh, she's getting a skate all day. Okay. But I had her cuffed in the front. I had her other friend here. All they wanted to do was just fucking tra trespass her. So, run her. She's got warrants. She wants to go. She's got to go. I told her friend, I'm sitting there at the desk, I said, you can go, grab her shit and go. She slips her cuff and gone. Fucking come out here and I tap her to the ground. I want 30 minutes. Okay. She is pregnant, I guess. I got to hold you accountable, young lady. You didn't tackle her to the ground. The Look how the dude face look. This guy right here. You see, you Y'all see his face? Y'all see his face right here? He like, you didn't tackle her to the ground. Lost prevention tackled her to the ground stop capping yes apparently i don't know did she tell you she was pregnant before she ran yeah yeah, yeah. i mean when she was in the office yeah. okay the suspect was charged with multiple crimes including felony escape she has a criminal record in the same county consisting of multiple violent offenses she bonded out and ended up pleading guilty Let's stop the damn video right there. Y'all see the charges. Y'all see the charges right there. Ladies, hold yourself accountable for what you do. Also, if you're pregnant, don't go out committing crimes. Don't go out stealing and robbing because you never know what predicament you could put yourself into. She could have possibly lost her child. She was willing to lose her child's life by running, knowing that these officers can tackle you and they'll end up getting away with it. Why? Because you were fleeing. So it's technically your fault. 
anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.